Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the surface area of a prism. So in a previous video we talked about surface area of a rectangular prism. Now this video is just going to be any prism that you might encounter. So we're just going to find the surface area or to find the surface area of any prism. It's just the sum of the areas of the bases and the lateral faces. So the bases, that just could be the, the shape that is making up what could be the top and the bottom or the front and the back. It just depends on the orientation of your shape. Okay, the lateral faces basically is the, are the faces that would go around the prism. So let's take a look at this one. We have two bases here that are triangles. So let's find the area of those first, right? So that's gonna be area is equal to one half base times height. So we're gonna say that our base would be six. So one half times six and our height would be eight. Okay, now we have two of those. So I'm gonna put this in parentheses and, and say, let's multiply that by two, okay? So six times eight is 48, and then half of 48 would be 24, and 24 times two would be 48. So that would be for the two triangles here. So here and, and right there, right? So we got 48 square meters, and let's just put a little star by that, okay? All right, now let's change up our color here, and let's find some of our lateral faces now. So if we're looking at this diagram, let's start off with the bottom. Right, so I think we could see where the bottom is, right? It's this one, this one right here. So here, here. Okay, I'll kind of outline it right there. All right, so for this, we see that the, the width would be six and the length would be 18. So we would do six times 18, and that would give us the area of that bottom face, which is 108 square meters. Another star by that. So once we get done, we could just, you know, add up all of our star measurements here, and that would give us our surface area. All right, so now let's go to kind of like the left side, right? So it'd be like here, and then here, and then here, and then here, okay? So we see that that is gonna be 10 times 18, right? Because this side over here would also be 18. So 10 times 18, and that's just gonna be 180 square meters. And our last side is going to be the side that is basically to the right side. So that would be like here, and then here, and then here, and then right there. So the green, so that's gonna be eight by 18. So eight times 18, and that gives us 144, okay? All right, so now we can just add those sums up or add up those individual areas, little plus there. So that was 48 plus 108 plus 180 and 144. So that should be 480 square meters, and that would be our surface area for this prism. All right, and that's how you can find the surface area of a prism.